वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अप्लीकेशन ऑफ नैनो मेटीरियल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ नैनो मेटीरियल इन एनविरोमेंटल टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ नैनो मेटीरियल इन हाउस होल्ड क्लीनिंग फ्यूल सेल्स एंड फोटो वोल्टाइक सेल्स first let us discuss about the application of nano materials in household cleaning the most important application of nanotechnology in the household is self cleaning surfaces on ceramics or glasses the self cleaning property of nano materials is bio mimic from lotus flower which i have clearly explained in the video which i had made on application of nano materials in biomimicry the link of that particular video is provided in the description box examples of self cleaning nano materials includes titanium dioxide nanoparticles carbon nanotubes now if you see this particular figure the mechanism of the self cleaning by the nano particles involves three steps first step is the coating of nano material is activated by uv light that is what we need to do is we have to expose the coating of the nano materials to the daylight for 5 to 7 days which is depicted in the figure 1 so coming to the second step which is involved in the mechanism of the self cleaning of the nano particles is organic dirt is broken down which can be depicted in the figure 2 in this particular step the coating breaks down organic dirt and by doing so reduces the adherence of inorganic dirt now coming to the figure 3 which depicts the third step of uh, the mechanism involved in self cleaning of nano materials that is rain wash rain washes away the dirt water droplets spread out to form a sheet dust particles on the surface are picked up by water and washed off the glass by which we can observe a remarkable difference before the self cleaning process and after the self cleaning process due to the hydrophobic nature of nano fibers cloths made up of nano fibers are stain repellent oil repellent water repellent and also wrinkle free. examples of such nano fibers are nano pel n a n o p e l which is one of the company brand brand name right so if you see this particular shed which is made up of for the nano particles which is made up of the nano particles this particular shed is enhanced with nano pores which insulates against heat or cold not only that this particular shed is enhanced with nano particles which removes the dirt dirt similar to the property of the lotus plant not only this this particular shed is enhanced with silver nano particles which reduces and sterilizes also sterilizes also and reduces the odor or the smell or the smell now let us discuss now let us discuss the application of nano materials in fuel cells due to large surface to volume ratio nano materials 
can store the hydrogen which is needed for the functioning of store the hydrogen which is needed for the functioning of fuel cell in this context carbon nanotubes which are potentially capable of holding the hydrogen gas has inspired the scientist to start research work on carbon nanotubes based fuel cells this type of fuel cells has the potential to power cars however this concept is not yet commercialized now let us discuss the application of nanomaterials in photovoltaics first we have to discuss what are photovoltaics conventional solar cells are called photovoltaics these cells are very costly due to the use of silicon this silicon which is used in the photovoltaic cells is in order to absorb sunlight the silicon which is used in the photovoltaic cells in order to absorb sunlight does not absorb sunlight strongly because of which the efficiency of these photovoltaic cells which utilizes the silicon is less such costly solar cells which are less efficient can be replaced successfully with very cheap plastic solar cells made of tiny nano rods dispersed within a polymer these nano rods behave as wires when they strongly absorb light of a specific wavelength they generate electrons these electrons flow through the nano rods until they reach the aluminum electrode where they are combined to form a circuit or to form a current and are used as electricity use of such nano photovoltaic cells will definitely reduce the dependence of human society on traditional fossil fuels for making power generation in future i hope you understood this particular application of nanomaterials in environmental technology so thank you for watching